Welcome to today's video, everybody. Back at Evie's Circuit with my boy Fusto. What's the story on the car? Is it fixed? Are we good? I think so. You think so? Yeah, the boys stay late <laughs> last night to fix this car again. But change the diff. You just have different final gear now. Yeah, we got a 3.9. Yeah. We're back back to the first diff that the car back came in. The past now. The past, yeah. yeah. Which I'm excited about because now that we have more power, that should actually feel quite good. Third gear is going to be hard. Nah, she'll be right. Just put some more air in the back. So. <laughs> drive Nishi for a little bit. I will go there too. You're coming? Much. Yeah. You're gonna drive Vertex? Maybe. Yay! <laughs> See you, Adam. All right, we're all heading to Nishi to drive because Nishi's only open till lunchtime today. But the car's fixed. Let's go. I hope you guys are really excited to watch us shred at Ebisu Circuit. But before we get to that, I need to remind you there is currently only one week left for you to be able to pre-order the new Team Semit support pack. So if you want one of those insulated water bottles and the new Team Semit hoodie to go with it, make sure you place your orders right away. But then at the same time, Black Friday is literally tomorrow. And we're gonna be doing 20% off store-wide from Black Friday all the way through to Cyber Monday. The Team Summit support pack will be excluded from that 20% discount, but everything else, like I said, store wide is 20% off. So, for those of you that haven't gotten the new Team Summit support pack, now is the chance because you can throw in anything else for 20% off. And those that have already ordered it, jump back on summit.net now and grab yourself anything in the online store for 20% off. Off. Once again, it's 20% off store wide, just excluding the new Team Summit support pack. Guys, thank you so much for all your support. I appreciate you to death. Oh, and I also forgot, but our Christmas sweaters for this year also go live with the Black Friday sale, and they will include the 20% off discount. So if you guys want to take advantage of that, you know what to do. Summit.net, links down in the description. Thank you for your support. As always, let's get back to shredding. Nishi be looking good today. There's a ton of people in the pits driving. I'm excited. Adam and Colette pulled in up there, but I ain't got time for that. I just want to go drive because I've not driven this thing in forever and we got a 3.9, so I got to figure out if I need to do some gear changes and stuff on how I usually drive this. I headed out on track and the car feels great. It's definitely a little different with the 3.9, but nothing that I can't figure out. My shift timing and stuff just has to change. Here's a lap of me just kind of feeling everything out and getting used to it doing a solo one. <laughs> joins in on the fun, so here's a couple of our chase laps. Make sure you go check out his video to see him chasing me as well.
on Nishi. Um, there's a little grip rental for the rest of today, but at least we got to do some back-to-back -back laps. Bro, it feels so weird because the last time you were here, I was just getting into drifting and I was in your passenger seat and now I'm behind you chasing you. You shred? It's awesome. I'm a little let down that you didn't tap me, if I'm being honest. Oh, but you didn't tap me either. I was trying. I was trying. <laughs> I was trying You better if I could have, I would have. <laughs> we're going to head to North Course now and do a little bit of driving before lunch, but it just feels good. It feels so good, guys. I don't know how to describe to you how good it feels. And I left my hood up and got in the car. That sucks. All right, guys, so we're obviously at North Course, but before we do some tandems, I'm going to do some backies and just drive like an idiot. I really love this track, as you guys know, the speed. And now that we're running the 3.9, I can get really, really fast at the top of third gear, which feels like my fourth gear entries with my 4.1. So we're going to give it a crack. <laughs> So now that I've gotten that out of my system, it's time to jump into some tandem laps. You're going to see me on the first lap being super conservative as I've never driven with Adam before. So I just want to see how he drives and what to watch out for. like I have an idea of his driving style, I'm going to work on getting much closer to him. concerned about his front tires so we pull off the track so i don't know if you could see in the in car but there was just like this constant flame of sparks just flying out of the front end of adam's car and it threw me off so much that i actually spun behind him on one of those chase runs because i was just constantly looking at it instead of looking where i needed to for the tandem these are beyond pretty bad like it's a kind of, kind of a miracle that he didn't like crash or have any issues but yeah the whole inside to like the center here is delaminated the full way around and it's like through the wires so i'm glad uh nothing gnarly happened and we caught that <laughs> so bad adam's made me put some two three five tenders on the back look at that skinny boy fit man oh man he's been complaining all day that he can't keep up with me and colette because we were running two six fives so it's gonna be really funny if he still can't keep up even though we got the same tires now, but I think he'll be all right. We'll we'll see, but I don't know if it's just the two three fives. His car's a bit slow. This is the first lap on two three fives. Now I have not driven this car on two three fives in a very, very long time. 
I learned pretty quickly that I can't throw this thing as hard as I can with 265s uh, with these tires because watch how far it throws me out, washes me out here, almost off the track. And uh, I end up actually shutting it down just after this, um, just because it just, it, it, it felt so weird and I needed to just chill. I was like pretty much going edge to edge all off the track and you can even see me like smack the wheel there. So I needed to just chill and stop putting so much steering input in. Okay, I have to slow it down. After a few more practice laps, I jumped this in tandem runs with Adam. T35s actually feel better in my car in forward bite. The, they give me, for some reason, uh, the Kenda KR20s just give me so much more grip up the hill, but sidewall bite, they really lack. So after the huge flick here, I find that my car is just completely washing out and wanting to go off track. Um, but uh, I just have to adjust my driving style for that and we should be good. Just less speed maybe i don't know we'll figure something out so all in all pretty successful a day driving with everyone i'm really liking that uh, we've now matched tire sizes so we can keep up with each other pretty evenly overall a pretty great day driving together and i'm actually liking running the 235 so that, that we're more evenly matched it makes driving just a lot more funner um but one thing i've kind of noticed is like adam's got this really nice kind of simple livery but my car's just all gray with a bunch of tire marks I think uh, when we refresh this car during the winter this year, I think I kind of want to do something similar to, similar to the LZ, like what he's doing here. I just think it's like something simple, but something cool, like through the wheel out, just like this. And I don't know if I want the grain anymore. I'm fighting the urge to want to paint it white, but also maybe we should just do pink and then do like a blue kind of thing through here with water. I think that looks sick. Colette's just getting her car loaded up on the truck to go to Sidex to get uh, harness bar installed and a bunch of other goodies. So her car's going to get worked on tonight before we drive tomorrow. But it's crazy just how quickly it gets dark here at NBC Circuit the moment it hits winter. Like it's only 4.30 p.m. and it's pretty much pitch black. And it gets super creepy out here because there's like barely any lights and you're hearing all the animal sounds and lions carrying on and roaring like it's yeah it's a little creepy i ain't gonna lie currently on our way back to the hotel but i just wanted to show you guys the k-van has just hit over 200,000 kilometers well actually not just uh 612 kilometers ago we did that is she still chooching not a single problem
This thing is great. I still can't believe it survived the whole like mix match tires and wheels scenario. This thing hasn't missed a single beat since we uh, changed all the fluids, gave it a transmission service, um, put the right tires on the back, and then uh, I also did the front brakes. And that C's caliper are all good now. So she's a beaut. She just keeps on chooching. Maybe I should just buy the new model K van and we'll keep this as just like a company car that like uh, the staff and stuff like that will be able to use and like do errands and stuff in. It might be a, a good move to keep it. I just, like I love this thing so much. Turbo all wheel drive and it just, it just always goes. You can fit so much stuff in the back and it's really cheap on gas. It's just such a good car. I love K cars so much. There was only one car park out the front of the hotel so I'm letting Adam park his uh, expensive new car there and I'm in the car park just up the road. But these, when I first drove in, creeped me out because I thought they were people for a second tied to everything in here. <laughs> I guess uh, king and prince outfit. I'm, I'm very confused what this stuff is, but it's like, they're like wrapped up with cling wrap. <laughs> Look at the grim. What is this? <laughs> I can't. I don't know what that's for. Oh my gosh. This is cracking me up. Oh, uh, look at this little guy with the hair. I have no idea what is going on. I wish I could read all this Japanese, but it's all made with plastic. I wonder what this is. This guy's got a little saxophone thing going on. <laughs> this guy's got a little weed cutter. Oh, look, they made it with like a shoe. It's like they're using all like garbage and stuff to make these. And then there's this guy. I love that mask. I need one of those masks. Super cool. We've just arrived at a local recommended ramen place. Now, I have not been here before, but judging by the photos of everything out the front, this looks like it is the spot, and we're gonna get some good food. So the people at Mount Inn were not joking when they recommended this place because this looks incredible. The meat looks very good. Right? And then uh, Colette went all out. <laughs> Select all. Select all. Like, there's even corn and butter in her ramen. <laughs> Good job. I'm so excited. I went with Chashiman with Negi, and I love this place because they do the stringy, like, they cut it sideways, not the, like, straight up and down, and you get the little rings. This is the best. Even though it does get stuck in your teeth, it still tastes the best when it's like this. I don't know how to convey to you guys just how good this is. Everything about this ramen is amazing. I'm not sorry. So it's actually the next day now. You can see the weather's pretty terrible, um, but I had a really good day today just practicing and getting a bunch of seat time in the wet, doing tandems with uh, a whole bunch of people. But we did have a fair few issues with my car and everyone else's cars. It wasn't like, it wasn't a good time in that aspect. But the good news is, is all cars are fixed at the end of the day. They're ready to head to Nico circuit tomorrow, which is awesome. If you're wondering why I didn't film any of today, that's because I was actually doing a live stream over on Twitch. Um, if you guys aren't following me there, click the link down in the description to my link tree and you can find all my other socials there to make sure you're following me so you don't miss anything when I do something on those other platforms. But overall, it was a really good time. Um, I really enjoyed doing the IRL drifting stuff with chat and whatnot. It's a lot of fun. But yeah, we're just heading back to the hotel. We're gonna start editing the vlog. But uh, man, just so many like things that I wanted to plan and set up. Like I was gonna try to do some cool Insta360 stuff today. Um, but uh, yeah, just the weather was terrible, so it didn't work out. We're back at the hotel now, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button, write us a comment, and subscribe. Don't forget about the Black Friday sale over on summit.net. Use the coupon code BF20 to take advantage of that. Also, don't forget, one week left to get your pre-orders in for the new Team Summit support pack and the new Christmas sweaters are now live on summit.net as well. Once again, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.